What is your net worth and how do you figure it out? Well, it's really key to understand your current financial situation and where you want to go. And the only way to do that is to figure out your personal net worth. That's all the assets that you have, what you own, minus what you owe, your liabilities. That's the way you figure it out. All right, let's think specifically. What does that mean if I'm looking for my assets and my liabilities? What does that entail? So you think about all the accounts that you have, where you have money, and also what you own. So you think about your retirement accounts, you think about the value of your home, you think about other things that may have some worth, if you have a car that is worth something, if you have insurance policies that have a cash value, you add all of those up. Then you also want to consider what you owe. What is your mortgage? What are your student loans? What is your credit card debt? Mm. What is your car loan? All of those liabilities, you have to subtract those. So it's pretty simple math. You may not even need a calculator to do it, but, <laughs> but it is something that you should do on a regular basis. And if it turns out that I have a negative net worth, meaning I have more liabilities than I have assets, is that a bad thing? Do not freak out. Many people in their 20s and 30s will have a negative net worth. If you have a huge amount of student loan debt, if you have a huge mortgage and you haven't saved a lot yet for retirement or for other long-term purchases, then you may not have a positive net worth. But that's not a bad thing. You just have to know what you owe and what the interest rate is on that debt. So if you have a lot of credit card debt, mm. very high interest debt, right. that's something you absolutely want to get rid of right away. The other thing that a lot of people do is they make sure hopefully, that they're paying their debts on time, right? They've set up a, a payment plan for the debts, but they're not setting up a payment plan for themselves. At the same time that you're paying off those debts, you need to be building up your own assets, particularly if you have a, a debt that is low interest debt. Right. You know, you want to make sure that you're taking advantage of perhaps even better interest that you might get or compound interest that you might get investing. You know, I, I guess this is something that you need to do fairly routinely, too. I, th I think about something because most people's biggest asset would be their house. Yes. If you have a $300,000 house and you've put $30,000 down, that still means that you're ahead of the game, right? You owe $270,000 on a $300,000 asset, right. which is great news until real estate prices fall and exactly. that house is only worth $260,000. Then you're in the hole. Exactly. And that's why it's really important to double check all of these things and to understand that when you are in some of these situations, that's why people are looking, when they're looking at refinancing and looking at things about their home, often it's because they need cash. They want something for cash flow right away. You also want to think about the financial moves that you're making that are going to impact your net worth because that's going to be something that is not just benefiting you right now but also may be beneficial for you to know for your children long term.